Hello guys, it's Red here, and this is a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to record demos and turn them into videos in TF2. If you want a tutorial on demo smoothing, which is a function for TF2 demos that allows you to get different perspectives of your um, gameplay, then you can request it in the comments below, but I'll probably make it sooner or later, and there should be a link somewhere on the screen right now. So yeah, so if you're looking for that, go and click, go, go ahead and go and watch that. But without further ado, let us get on with the video. So first thing that you have to do to be able to record your demos is to go to options, click advanced here, and then enable developer console. As you can see, it's already um, enabled for me. So yeah, wait, and uh, after doing that, remember to click apply first. Right. After that, you just need to press the tilde key on your keyboard, which is this thing. And you should get this console here. Uh, this thing will be really important for recording and uh, navigating your demo files. Alright, so another thing to note is you should go to advanced options and then scroll all the way down to... Where is it? Ah, demo support. And then after that, look for the option that says recording mode. And you can either be manual, auto record competitive, all matches, or tournament. So for me, I like all matches in case something funny or cool happens. And then I can quickly record that. So uh, after you've cho chosen your desired option, just click OK. And after that, you just join the game, and the game will automatically record your gameplay for you. Alternatively, if you don't want to record automatically, you can change this back to manual. But you would have to manually make the game, uh, tell the game to record. So we're just going to open an empty server now, and I'll show you how it works. Alright, so we're on to the map. Just going to go on to blue team here. Alright, so if you hear that droom sound, uh. That is the sound effect for that, that tells you that the game has started the recording. Um, so yeah, you can just play your game and then when something special happens, this is the important part, you would want to bookmark it. And I'll show you later how the bookmarking will help you, but for now just know how to bookmark it. So to do that, you would want to bind a key to bookmark. For me, I like the K key, so I'm just gonna bind K and then colon ds underscore mark after that you should find that after you click k on your keyboard you go into the console you should see demo support event recorded bookmark general and that basically means that you've created a sort of timestamp in your demo file for that point in time so when you are looking back at your demo files, you'll be able to navigate to that part of the clip easily and then record it. So that is basically it for the recording part. You just need to know how to bookmark and then just let the game play. And also one thing to note, at the end of each map, like when around, uh, when, when the server changes maps, the recording will restart, as in the current recording file will be the current demo file will be saved and then they'll start a new one. So just keep that in mind. Right, so after that we're just gonna quit. It auto saves to create. As you see demo support and recording demos. Oh and in case you're wondering, no I haven't forgotten about the manual recording. I'll get that I'll get back to that later after this. Right. After you've now that you've learned how to record your demos, you need to know how to see them. So to do that, open your console again and type in demo UI. And then after that, click load on this window here. You should see this um file selections of folders. And you want to look into this folder called demos. So just double click on that. And then this is the demo file that I just recorded today. You can see that October 17, that is today. All right, now I'm just going to open that. And we're in. So you can use this thing to pause. And all right, ticks, ticks are basically like the 
timestamps for but for TF2 files, um, demo files, they, they use ticks instead. And remember when I told you about how to bookmark with that keybind, you basically bookmark a specific tick that you can put here and then you just click go to and you skip to that tick. So where do I see my bookmarks? Uh, to do that, you actually need to navigate back to this demos file thing here. And you should be able to find it on your computer. For me, I'm on a Mac, so when I click this, it'll help me open it in Finder. And this should do the same for other computers. So you can see that it just opened up. And this one, .dm file, that's the demo file that you recorded. And right below that, with the same timestamp, is the JSON file. And then this basically stores your bookmarks and killstreak events. But before we go and talk about the ticks and bookmarks, let me go back and explain the manual recording and where to find the files for that. Alright, so instead of manual um, automatic recording, you can do a manual recording instead. And to do that, you have to go into your console and type record and the file of your recording that you want. So just going, I'm just going to do a test here. And then you should see recording to test.dm. So basically the game will record your the game will record the game events into the file called test.dm and you'll be able to play it back later and watch it. So just gonna walk around a bit. And now right, when you're done with the recording, just type stop and you should see completed demo. Uh or if you just want to leave it until the end of the game, then you can just play it through and you'll automatically stop the recording at the end of the game. So yeah, uh right. And after that, you can see that test.dm is right here, test. And you can also find it in your demo UI. Your, the demos that you record uh, manually will not be in your demos file, but they will just be in your TF folder for some reason. So you have to look for it here instead. Or you can just type play demo. Oops play demo space and then scroll down and you should find test. Alright, back to the bookmarks and stuff. So you can see that I have two bookmarks here and they have the name, the value, both of which are not really that important and then the ticks. The ticks are what you need to know. So for example, I see 3918 here. So when I want to find that in the game, just type in 31, I mean 3918. Usually because you would press bookmark a while after whatever you wanted the record happened, I would suggest going backwards around 500 or 1000 ticks and then find the exact moment that you want to record. So I'm just going to go back 3519, wait, 3419, go to and you can see that it skipped here. Uh, I don't really have a particular event to record. so. Uh, nothing much to demonstrate. So yeah, after you've gotten to this part, you will want to maybe watch it through once, see what actually happened, and then go back and record it. Now because from my experience, after you turn the demo files into videos, the audio is usually not synced with the video. So it will be a good idea to start recording earlier so that you can sync up the audio and visual later after you've gotten the video. Now, um, because my P my computer isn't really that good, I usually play on the lowest graphics settings. But because the demo files record game events and not the video, you can actually change your resolution and graphics settings and then go and record so that it looks nicer. However, when I try to do that, for example like this, this actually happens and I fiddle around with this a lot and there isn't really a way to get past it. So what you basically need to do is to, before you even start your demo, change your resolution first and other graphic settings if you want. And then after that, play your demo file. So that is uh, that will allow you to play your file in desired in your desired resolution and video settings. So do keep that in mind. Uh, 
Also, if you somehow forgot, sometimes the game will just randomly crash like it just did. Right, I'm gonna have to open it again. Alright, I'm back. Now I'm going to just play that demo file that we were just on. Okay, now we're in the demo file. Um, so you found your game tick and you found you found your demo file, you found your bookmarks and you found the clip in the demo file that you wanted to record. So now I'm going to show you a few console commands that will make your recording experience a lot easier. The first thing is to bind a key to pause and play the demo file. So for me right now, the key is binded to P. So even without the demo UI, you can see that I can just pause and play. So you want to type bind P demo toggle oh, sorry demo underscore toggle pause like that and then when you click P you should be able to pause and play your demo after that there is um, CL underscore draw hard so putting this at 1 would basically be your normal game but at 0 with 0 you won't see your kill feed you won't see the capture point progress the chat your health, nothing, just the game and your view model. This is really useful for um, sort of cinematic playback of Frank movies. Um, sometimes you would want to, however, see your crosshair. Uh, sometimes you might want to see your crosshair, so you want to go to... Uh, but using CL Draw Hard Zero removes that, and also the kill feed. Um, to get past that, you can use Lawena recording software, but since I'm on Mac, I can't use that and I've yet to figure out a way to use it on Mac. So yeah, but if you're a Windows user, you can download that from the website. Just search for Lawena on Google. L-A-W-E-N-A. And then just follow the instructions there and you should be able to get it. Yeah, and then the other thing is your view model, which is your gun. You can remove that by going R underscore draw your model zero and then that removes your gun too and this can be used for sort of POV um other point of views cinematic shots where you just want to see the gameplay happening but not from your perspective and this will be looked at more in depth in my demo smoothing tutorial that should come out soon so yeah, if you want to find out more about that, do keep an eye out for the video. Okay, now it's time to actually start recording. So uh, one, one last command that you want to do before you record is host underscore frame rate. And this will force the game to record at a certain frame rate of that you desire, that, that, that you want. So usually, a good frame rate will be 60, but if you want it to do it faster, then you might want to choose a lower frame rate because the game records every frame, like, records the gameplay frame by frame. So the higher frame rate, the more frames to record and the slower it is. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do 30 for now. Right, now to start your actual recording into a video. So to do that, type start movie. And then in this section write the file name that you want so right now i'm just gonna do test like that and then following that you would want to type h264 this turns the uh, recording into a video automatically but if you don't want that just leave that out and then you'll get a bunch of um, pictures a bunch of images that you will have to string together into your video yourself and you also get an audio file that you put together but for convenience sake, uh, con for convenience sake, I like to do it with this. Although I think that might be what causes the unsyncing of the audio in the video. But yeah, we're just gonna do that for now. So you should see started the recording movie, and then once you turn off your console and you click your binary key to pause, it should start recording, and you see that the game progresses in. So sort of slow motion and that tells you that you are suddenly recording. So we're just gonna record a few seconds here. Right, and then when you're done, type end movie. 
stop the recording movie. Now, to find your movie, you have to go back to that same folder here. But you have to go back to the enclosing folder. So, I'll go back to TF. Uh, you can also do this by going back to your demo UI. Click load. And then you can see that this is the enclosing folder of the demos folder. And then just click show open in finder. And you'll get the same thing. And after you've done that, you should find your video file here, test. Forward. And you can see that um, there's your video file. Uh, yeah, so basically that's it for getting your video files, uh, for recording your demos and making them into videos in TF2. And finally, I've included a list of all the console commands and links that you might need in the description, so yeah. So as I've said a lot of times, if you want to see a tutorial on demo smoothing, do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, hope this helped. Leave a comment and a like. Thanks. Bye.